Hello, Dr. Dana here. Today we're going to be doing a recheck exam on an adult female great horned owl. So during this exam, the bird is going to be under general anesthesia with an inhaled gas. So she's going to be completely unconscious, not aware of what we're doing, and that allows us to do our procedures um, safely because she's not going to be moving, so I can do it safely by myself during this um, COVID time so that we can socially distance and keep everyone safe. And the other benefit is because she's totally unconscious, it's less stressful for her. So today in this procedure, you're going to see me do a blood draw, some physical therapy, and we're going to recheck some x-rays. Well, Dr. Dana here coming to you from the Raptor Center Clinic. And today it's Sunday morning and I'm doing a recheck exam on this great horned owl. She is an adult female that was admitted on December 20th of last year from Stearns County, Minnesota. And she came in because she has a left ulna fracture. So that's what this bandage is for. It's holding that wing in place while the fracture heals. Um, she also has a really interesting old injury to her right eye. It looks like she sustained a puncture wound to that right eye and tore the iris or the colored part. And she has an interesting shaped pupil because of that. So on her bandage here, you can see it's covered with duct tape and little tabs. She is not a fan of having bandaging on. She doesn't understand why it's on and she just wants it off. So we use duct tape quite a bit to help uh, fortify or strengthen our bandages. And then she also has a figure of eight wrap on. So this wrap is going around, around her wing itself to help hold the elbow and the wrist still. Today she's getting a recheck exam. Uh, we're rechecking her CBC, her white blood cell count, to make sure that that's doing okay. No signs of infection or anything like that going on. And she is getting physical therapy and recheck x-rays. And my hope is that her fracture will be healed enough that she won't need bandages anymore. So we'll see. Right now I can feel the fracture. It's right underneath my thumb. It's of her ulna bone. It's kind of in this part of her wing. So she has humerus here, our humerus, radius and ulna, radius and ulna. And this is called the major metacarpal bone. It's kind of this part of our hand. So I'm gonna do a couple little stretches. We do physical therapy two to three times per week in birds that have fractures. The goal of the physical therapy is to keep their soft tissues nice and relaxed and supple. That way they can get back to flight as soon as possible. Next thing I'm gonna do before we go and take our recheck x-rays is I'm going to get a blood sample. Quick and painless blood sample. There's an anticoagulant in the syringe to keep it from clotting. So I can make my blood smears and we can look at it under the microscope. Now we've moved over into radiology. So we use another safe tape to get everything in position, make sure she's nice and straight. I'll take the x-ray. take a view with her laying on her side. The first one we took on her back is called a ventral dorsal view. This one is a lateral view. The next view I'm going to take is called a caudal cranial view. So I can get a good, good look at that fracture. So I'm really happy with how her x-rays look today. Here on the right, I have her x-rays from intake. So that's what her fracture looked like at the very beginning. And then I can pull up, this is what her fracture looked like on January 3rd. That's the last time I checked x-rays. And then today, I'm really happy with what we've got here. So all of these little bone fragments that were over here have remodeled and there's new bone bridging the fracture site here. So this fracture is healed. It looks very nice. And then I'll show you what it looks like on that caudal cranial view. This is from the third on the right. The left is from today and it's fully healed. So on the third, 
you could still see a fracture line right here and these weren't totally bridged together that fracture line's gone now and this is bridged together so she's ready to have her wrap off we'll keep her on cage rest for a little bit longer um, but she's doing a very good job healing her fracture which is very exciting thank you very much for joining me today i hope you learn something new about how we take care of the patients that come here to see us. Thanks. Bye.